Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Hey, it's still a pretty good one for the next couple of days. As a matter of fact, temperatures might be just a little bit cooler here as we get to Wednesday, and we may even wake up Thursday morning with nighttime lows dipping down into the mid to upper 50s around the Miami Valley. Your forecast this evening, 82 at 7 o'clock. We'll have some of those scattered clouds around and still some of that high-level smoke and haze. Uh, 77 degrees at 9 o'clock with 72 at 11 p.m. and mostly clear skies. Tomorrow morning, 67 at 8 with 76 degrees at noon, partly cloudy and we'll be up around 80 tomorrow afternoon. I don't think we'll be quite as warm to, as today. Uh, today getting up into the low to mid 80s over the region. We have that cold front moving through early in the day on Wednesday in our weather headlines. Now the front looks like it's coming through dry. It is setting off some scattered showers and widely scattered showers and thunderstorms over the Great Lakes and then we'll see that cooler air build into the region for Wednesday and Thursday. But don't get too used to that because it looks like the heat could really build next week. We'll see even warmer, more humid weather late this week. And with that transition taking place as the warm, humid air comes in, there will be the chance of thunderstorms returning. Even tonight, not bad on the nighttime lows, low to mid 60s, around 62 Salina, Greenville, Bell Fountain down to 63 along with Urbana and also Springfield right there along US 68. About 65 in Troy, that's about what will be here in the Dayton area. Uh, get out into Preble County and Greene County, uh, you might find some low to mid 60s too. And then the high temperature tomorrow. There's that cooler air coming in behind the front. A little bit of cloud cover may develop late tonight, early tomorrow morning in the vicinity of the front, even though the front will be mostly dry. And about 75 Bell Fountain, Urbana, 76 Wapakoneta, 77 in Sydney, 78 in Troy, 77 in Springfield. And here in Dayton will be up around 80 in the afternoon. But a, a little drop in humidity levels, getting those dew points back into the 50s. It'll be very comfortable. And after starting in the mid to upper 50s on Thursday morning, afternoon readings up around 80 or into the low 80s. So a couple of nice summer days are on the way. And right now you're checking out a mostly clear to partly cloudy sky on the Goodwill Auto Auction camera as we look in across US 35 into downtown Dayton. And once again, another day with no precipitation on live Doppler 2 HD. Here's that front dropping south into southern Michigan and across Lake Erie. A little more activity as you get up around uh, Toronto and Lake Ontario with that front and low pressure center. Also in the thumb of Michigan, we're picking up some scattered showers and thunderstorms. But it looks like most of that activity will stay northeast of us with the front. But this front does drop down through the area tonight into tomorrow morning, uh, but as I mentioned, it should come through dry. 83 our current temperature reading with a wind out of the northwest at 8 miles per hour. 56% the relative humidity with the dew points up a little bit today up into the mid 60s. It's pulled our heat index up uh, to 85 degrees this afternoon. And around the region tonight, uh, 83 in Dayton, but 84 in Springfield, Troy down towards Springboro. Richmond only at 79 degrees, but a lot of low to mid 80s over the region. Our future track forecast stays mostly clear tonight, but late tonight, tomorrow morning, we'll start to see a few clouds drift in from the north behind that front. Otherwise, the clouds scatter out during the day with partly cloudy conditions. And then as we uh, go on into Thursday, once again, some partly cloudy skies, but uh, very pleasant temperatures as we'll see those nighttime lows, upper 50s, low 60s, and daytime highs, upper 70s and low 80s. Uh, tonight, mostly clear, dropping down to 65. Tomorrow we expect to see 80 degrees in the afternoon, a little cooler, humidity levels dropping, and a wind out of the north at 5 to 15. Temperatures starting in the 60s in the morning, up near 80 as we head toward 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Thursday's high, 83 after that morning low of 58. More humid Friday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Slight chance of a thunderstorm Saturday, 87, with a better chance of rain on Sunday and upper 80s. It looks like by about Tuesday of next week, we could be flirting with 90 degrees again.